Okay, so I know that when we're thinking about going to college or, you know, your undergraduate degree, you're like, man, I have to get into a good college so that I can graduate from a good college and get into a good job because of the school that I went to. Um, a lot of, you know, what we feel or what we think uh, matters most is about like the name and the prestige of like where you've worked, where you've gone to school, who your parents are, who your family is. Um, and a lot of the world is based on that. And so it was asked, is it the same for PA school? Does it really matter what kind of PA school you go to? Um, and this was posed from one of the live sessions that I did, um, which I typically do on Tuesdays. And it goes through all of the various different, I go through a different PA school every week. And so we were talking about how much it costs and this question was posed. So I wanted to answer that question for you. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Anana. welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. If you have not been to my channel before and this is your first time ever, go ahead, take a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe. Okay, so again, we're all about prestige in this world, right? We're all about like the name and that recognition. And, you know, I think it was really more of like an old type of, not true adage, but an old belief that if you go to a good college, if you come if you come from a good family you will get a good job and then essentially have a good life okay and you know i i think as the world has continued to develop and life has changed uh we realize that you don't really need to go to a good college to get a good job i mean look at all of uh you know the youtubers out there who are really doing a good job and making it as youtube creators and are making a really good life for themselves and their families and you know some of them didn't go to college some of them are still in like middle school and high school some are even in elementary school so that is really out of the window out of the door right however if you're already on this path of going to school going to undergrad you're trying to get into PA school specifically which is a master's level degree uh, your your concern is okay hey you know do I need to go to a great PA school to get a great PA job and I wanted to answer this question for you because it's a really quick and short and easy answer in a really quick and short and easy video the answer is no no you do not need to go to a prestigious or well-named PA school. Now there are various programs out there like Duke and Emory um, who are kind of big names in the PA scope, well-known PA programs. Um, they have the prestige that you're looking for, but it really and truly does not matter, honestly. Um, I was not asked, I think maybe asked once on one of my interviews uh, as a new grad what school I went to, but it, it really didn't matter. Um, all that matters is do you have that C behind your name? Okay, are you a PAC? Or have you been certified? If you have, then they know that the training that you've gotten in PA school, uh, you would have gone through all of these different rotations. And as PAs, they will train you on what specifically um, the skills that you may need for their job. And that's the beauty of being a PA. You can just transition and go from like specialty to specialty and get that on the job training because the basis of the medicine stays the same and you know that basis, you know that foundation. And so, um, no, you don't need to go to a prestigious, well-known PA program to get a good job. Uh, you just really have to search for it and do well on your interview. And you, this process of understanding like how to interview well, how to articulate yourself well enough um, get your point across in such a way that people will kind of resonate with what you're trying to tell them and with what you're saying and who you are as a person. Those are the skills that you really have to hone when trying to find a job. If you don't learn that in PA school, that's something that you can obviously learn um, afterwards. Uh, you can learn it through YouTube videos. You can learn it through like life coaches and things, interview coaches. But ultimately, that is what's really going to kick you over in terms of uh, getting a good job. Now, you can always go to like secondary um, you know PA school like you can do uh, essentially like a PA fellowship where you go to school for an extra year in a particular field for those fields of study that are a little bit more difficult to get into right out of PA school like emergency medicine or women's health but you don't need to you can just get the job get the experience and then transition after that 
okay so i hope that i answered your question if you have any other questions for me please leave them in the comment section below if you guys want to see me like do shorts i've been seeing these shorts come out and i'm like you know is this something that i should do like give me a, a like and tell me what you think my shorts uh should be about and we can go from there and see if we can make this thing happen i really like your input uh you guys have built this channel with me and so i'm really i really do take all of your suggestions into consideration okay uh, uh, if you haven't already done so, like this video, go ahead and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at on the PA and on Instagram at Get That C University. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time.